But it is certainly easier if you come in with your two million you know, Twitter followers, Instagram followers, and then the guy that you're doing the show with comes in with his two million Instagram followers, and you're like, we have a podcast now, and you've been selling out comedy theaters for a decade. I mean, there's they've already done a lot of the heavy lifting. Like, If I started a show right now with a best-selling author, the show would do well because I would do a good production, I would get, run ads on my other properties, and then that guy would go, hey, I'm doing a show with Jordan Harbinger, and he's going to have you know his million book-buying followers. And right. there's going to be a, something there. And people would go, oh, it's so unfair. You guys just get to screw around. And it's like, well, each of us paid our dues in our field you know, over the last 20 years, so... There's, or, or whatever, 10 years. So there's that. But I, I don't think two celebrities can just like turn on a crappy microphone in an airport lounge and do anything and have it actually succeed long term. 